India marked a major milestone in its indigenous defence program today when the third Tejas LCA Mark 1A fighter jet from Hindustan Aeronautics Limited's new Nasik production line completed its maiden flight. Watching the proceedings was Defence Minister Rajnath Singh. Today, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has been launched with light combat aircraft Mark 1A Tejas ki third production line ka udhatan ho raha hai. इसके साथ ही एच टी टी फोर्टी एयरक्राफ्ट की सेकंड प्रोडक्शन लाइन का भी उद्घाटन हुआ है इन दोनों प्रोजेक्ट्स को देश को समर्पित करते हुए मैं कहना चाहूंगा मुझे बेहद खुशी हुई है मैं एच को और इस प्रोजेक्ट से जुड़े हुए हर व्यक्ति को मैं हृदय से बधाई देता हूं The event underscored the momentum of the Tejas program after years of delays and highlighted India's drive for self-reliance in defence manufacturing. During the ceremony, Singh inaugurated HAL's third production line for the Tejas Mark 1A and the second line for the HTT-40 basic trainer. A symbolic salute by a Sukhoi aircraft captured the transition from legacy fighters to indigenous designs. The Tejas Mark 1A, an advanced multi-role fighter, is designed to replace the Indian Air Force's aging MiG-21 fleet. It features upgraded avionics, air-to-air refueling, and compatibility with indigenous Astra Beyond Visual Range missiles, ASRAM, and precision-guided munitions. Earlier technical glitches have been resolved through software and system refinements, clearing the way for induction. HAL's Nasik facility, modernized with a 500 crore rupee investment and spanning 1.3 million square feet, is initially set to produce eight Tejas Mark 1A aircraft annually, with scope for expansion. Combined with two production lines in Bengaluru, HAL's capacity now stands at 24 fighters per year, though the IAF requires 30-40 annually to replace retiring fleets. Part of Nasik's infrastructure remains dedicated to Su-30 MKI production for an upcoming order of 15 aircraft. Program had faced delays due to engine shortages, with HAL receiving only four F-404 engines, despite a 2021 contract with General Electric. GE has now committed to supplying 12 engines by the year end and 20 annually thereafter, easing the bottleneck. Around 10 aircraft are already structurally complete, awaiting testing. With the Air Force's squadron strength down to 29 against the sanctioned 42, the urgency is clear. Two squadrons of the original Tejas are in service, and contracts for 180 Mark 1A aircraft have been signed. The Nasik flights signal both continuity and transformation, reaffirming India's growing confidence in its indigenous fighter program.